everyone. Hi. This is my very first time trying to teach people as if I know things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, my name is Fiona Shalin Namanya. I'm an interior architect and I also do events planning and designing. So today I'll be teaching you a few things here and there about architecture and how it's important in events planning. Yes, all true. So to put it all together, hi everyone. So to put it all together, an architect is somebody who plans, builds, and oversees the construction of buildings. That's in one statement. Plans, designs, builds, oversees. So, so why is an architect or architecture important in events design? Can anybody tell me? Why is an architect or architecture important to events design? <laughs> yeah, so why so the most important thing in architecture is space planning because if you do not know how much space you have and what's going to take place on that space you cannot come up with a budget you cannot know whether that that tent that you're planning to use is strong enough so the first thing you have to do is plan yeah space So the more this is why architecture is important in event design because it entails space planning, it involves engineering, it involves creativity, it involves project management and problem solving. So, project management, you always had different types of people. You had the carpenters, welders, electricians, painters, everybody on site. And you managed all that. That was all under architecture. You were creative. That's self-explanatory. You thought of themes, you thought of colors, ideas, and all, you know, the unique furniture. That was all there engineering knowing that this trust will not support my flowers project manager i am an architect yes i am the architect of my life i am the architect of my dreams i am the architect of my business I am the architect of my projects and the architect of my emotions. What are the qualities of a good architect? Time sensitive. Okay, let me write that down. What are the qualities of everything we create must be user friendly? If I'm designing furniture and I'm thinking a zigzag chair would break the internet, <laughs> but how does somebody sit? Will they be comfortable? Will their back be straight? Will the chair break? Will it cause accidents? That's ergonomics. You must always think about how it will be used, how long it will last. Everything here, commercial awareness is uh, having the skill to do research. Who are my competitors? Why, how can I stand out? Um, what are the trends? What market am I targeting? Do I want the corporate people? Do I want weddings? Do I want 
simple small parties what do i want do i want launches knowing who your target market is yeah coach uh, the trends you know trends keep changing so you always have to do research use your computer the internet do more reading this is one of the qualities that makes a good architect you must always be aware of what's happening out there emotional intelligence is self explanatory we are very creative uh, so there are certain items that we must have as architects a sketchbook is one of them okay yeah you can open and yes sketchbook it can be plain paper today i was just trying to be fancy <laughs> yeah you must have one without the lines yeah distribute everybody get a sketchbook yes so even if you've never dealt with numbers you must know how to calculate you must know how to do some measuring you should know at least the width of your charger plate the width of your table the width of your chairs the height of you know all that you have to know those numbers you have to try because even if you out like Renzi said uh, get a specialist but there are those basics that at, at least thank you so much yes yes number 2 wow. most important even if you don't know pretend i've told you pretend <laughs> have you ever have you ever touched a tape measure who has used a tape measure before hands up so this is very important to sell yourself to look professional to take measurements even if you have your boys doing the work for you or if they're not there whatever have a tape measure on you to make them take you seriously to both can to open one i see so you see this thing you push it forward it just comes out how cute Clap for P1. So you have to tell everybody. Everybody, yeah, yeah. You see this? So today we are going to do just a simple exercise. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, today we're going to draw a floor plan. Yes. yes. <laughs> of Renzi's masterclass. Can you do that? It's just a rectangle. Junica. <laughs> so, open an empty page. So, in this space. Yeah. In some events you can do more especially if the client is specific and they say I'll have waiters I'll have this can add more space yeah 0.45 standard yeah yeah 0.45 by 0.45 it's a square and this space everyone look at your tape measure The, the tape measure gives you options. You have the feet, you have meters, you have centimeters, you have millimeters. So, the red big marks. These are centimeters. Do you remember your ruler, the one used to fit in your set? It was 13. Yeah. Going the set. See? The lower numbers are everyone because now you fit your plan it's so it's seen from above so it doesn't matter what angle whatever is comfortable for you for you yeah <laughs> the 
basic required skills. Yeah. So this is a pagola setup for 50 people. 50, 60. 50, 50. Yeah. 20. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, they get to see it because they'll be working. They'll be this week. We are yes. building from zero. Yes. So what happened after? She was <laughs> in this case the client opted to keep figure yourself out, you know what to price yourself at. Yeah. Yeah, it's not it doesn't have to be the same at P World, at Renzi, at P Coconut, at um Gala Image, at Junica, at Chapter Creations, at Hot. It it can be different. Okay. Yeah? But you look at your unique circumstance and see, okay, how much, for example, the pricing in Mombasa is different from that in Uganda. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe the chairs in Kenya, how much are chairs for hire? Figure yourself out. Thank you guys for your time. Thank you. That's Thank you. the little oh. I had to squeeze in. Oh, so <laughs> I wish you the best. I hope, you know, up your game. Up your game. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. We got that measurement. Yes, yes. yes. Hmm? Yeah. Thank you.